The Israeli city Beit Shemesh has become a flashpoint for a religious struggle that is threatening to tear Israel apart from within. The city of about 100,000 west of Jerusalem is deeply divided between secular and ultra-Orthodox Jews. Tensions have increased as secular and ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods have begun to overlap. Last week's municipal election highlighted the divisions. Secular challenger Eli Cohen said the campaign should have focused on the mismanagement by incumbent Mayor Moshe Abutbul, who is accused of funneling money into only ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods. But official results show voters lined up almost entirely along religious affiliation. Ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods voted overwhelmingly for Abutbul, while other areas supported Cohen, with a little more than 900 votes separating them. What you see here tonight is an expression of uh, the group of people who supported one candidate, who are saying, actually, we like the city to remain for everybody. Um, and a concern that we have that with the uh, mayor, who potentially will continue in his job, doesn't really believe the same way that the city should be for everybody. And that's what you see here, is people very passionate about Beth Shemesh, the city that they live in, and they want it to continue to be a great city. Dozens of witnesses have alleged fraud, and it has brought demonstrators out onto the streets, calling for a new election. Israeli police have already made some arrests in connection with voting irregularities, and eight people are said to have been charged with fraud after being found with 200 fake IDs. Some in the secular camp feel the city should be divided, saying the ultra-Orthodox aren't capable of tolerating the non-religious. In one extreme instance, an eight-year-old schoolgirl was assaulted two years ago by ultra-conservatives who spat on her and called her a whore for walking through their neighborhood in an immodest fashion. It's very right to divide the city because coexistence won't happen here. We can live with them, the ultra-Orthodox, but they cannot live with us. Ultra-Orthodox Jews make up about 10% of Israel's population. Maintaining a strict lifestyle that revolves around prayer, they have erected street signs calling for the separation of sexes on the sidewalks, and in some cases dispatched modesty patrols to enforce a chaste female appearance. Ultra-Orthodox believe there wouldn't be a Beit Shemesh without them. The secular public knows very well what Beit Shemesh wants and what everyone wants, which is the religious public to be in Beit Shemesh. Most ultra-Orthodox, many of who shun the press, say the actions of extremists get blown out of proportion by the media and insist they embrace their fellow Jews. As for the election results, analysts believe the Interior Ministry will take action either by ordering a recount or calling new elections.